Hey guys, it's me, Kat, and Sam's here too. We are here to do something very exciting and new. It is called 12 Pans of Christmas. Yay! And if you don't know what that is, it's okay, because I just recently heard about it from Miss Lauren May. She's a fellow YouTuber, and she had talked about doing a pan, project pan project. That makes sense? With a whole bunch of girls, and they're calling it 12 Pans of Christmas. This is my first panning project, um, I started following a lot of these girls. I'm very excited. It's kind of like <sighs> exciting and exhilarating and scary at the same time for me because I'm going to focus on 12 things to try to hit pan on before Christmas. And none of, some of them don't even look close. So we shall see how it goes. But I mean, in all honesty, I've um, hit pan on a lot of products and repurchase. I've even done a tube of lipstick and some of you have even said, how do you do a tube of lipstick? I don't know, I freaking eat lipstick for lunch. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. Let me, I'll just show you what they look like and I'll also try to remember to take pictures. So the first thing in my 12 pants of Christmas is my Charlotte Tilbury Film Stars Bronze and Blush Glow. I got this at the Nordstrom half yearly sale. I started using the bronzer a lot. I'm gonna start trying to use the blush more often. So that's what that looks like. The next thing that I'm gonna try to hit pan on is my Hourglass Ambient Lightning Palette. And I got this, I've been trying, I've been using it a lot lately. And I'm, I'm wearing it right now, it's a very subtle, glow from within. It looks, it's like, you know, like candlelight, dim light glow. So there's that. I don't know how long that's going to take me, but I'm going to try to use that. Um, the next thing I have is my Tarte Shape Tape, which I try to like leave it alone and see where it's been. Um, like, you know, try to see like it settle and it doesn't. So I'm afraid, I don't know how to tell. But I got this, I know I got this during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty in the spring because uh, I had just run out of my uh, NARS concealer and everyone was talking about shape tape, so I went ahead and got this. The next thing I'm going to try to pan is my MAC Studio Fix in NC43. I'm wearing it right now. Um, and I decided to use this up because I want to try to find some drugstore powder foundations and I figured a great way instead of like buying stuff I want to make it a goal to try to use this up before I try anything from the drugstore as far as uh, powder foundation if there's one from the drugstore you like let me know I'm trying to do research I haven't found much on it I don't think people do powder foundations um, the next thing I have is this it's like a deluxe sample size it's the from Hourglass, the Ambient Lightning Bronzer in Luminous Bronze Light. I use this a lot. I don't think you could tell, but I do. <laughs> I do. Um, so I'm gonna focus on this. Hopefully I can hit pan on it before Christmas. I'm dedicated to using only that bronzer. The next couple things are both from ColourPop. Um, this one is, um, a blush it's a super shock cheek and it's called fun with friends it's barely used but I, I the reason why I chose this is because um, I had this came from like the Hello Kitty collection and I got three eyeshadows with it it was a gift I got it in a gift bag when I went to the girl boss rally in January but the eyeshadows already dried up so I was like I don't want this to dry up before I get some good use out of it and the next thing I have is yummy cookies which is more of a highlighter and well yeah, this is soft so I pressed on it too hard just to see how far it was it's not like I'm close to hitting pan <laughs> so I'm gonna try to use that up um, the next thing, I don't know if I should have counted this as four or one because I put it in, this is my own palette. Um, these are MAC um, single shadows. Let me see. I'll take them out so I know what color it is. I actually had them in, as the individual in the little thingies and I depotted it. 
So this one is espresso. I've been trying to use this, I've been using it on my eyebrows. Um, and actually, I probably, this is probably like my um, third or fourth espresso. I used to be a really big matte girl and then I started getting into YouTube and started exploring more makeup. And I haven't really touched my Mac since. And then this one is Blanc Type. Excuse my janky nails. And then I have, this one is Wedge. I use this as a transition shade a lot. And actually this is probably my third one of this. This is one of my favorites, but I probably had this for over a year now. And then I have Orb. And I probably, this is probably like my third or fourth one of these because Orb, Wedge, and Espresso has, has been my staples for a long time. Um, but I want to see how long it takes. I'm just curious. The next two things are lips. Well, the next four things are lips, but the next two are from NARS. And this is my, um, what is this? A, lip, a satin lip pencil. And it's so worn out, I can't even see um, what the name of it is. Can you guys see that? It's all like, worn out. But anyways, I'm wearing it on my lips right now along with this eye lip liner in Morocco. This is actually what I wore on my wedding day. And I got married in, when did I get married? 2014? Yeah, 2014, and I still have them. So I'm gonna try to use this up. And the last two things are from Chanel. This is a lipstick. It's Rouge Allure Velvet in number 38. La Fascinante. I love this because it's like, like this has a little Chanel right here. And then you go like that and it opens up. It's this red. I don't have that much go to go. And then I have this lip liner in 57. It's a Precision Definer Lip, sorry, Lip Definer Rouge Profonde. And it's in this red. And I love this because it comes with a brush too. Can you guys see that? So anyways, that's in my project, my 12 pans of Christmas, Project Pan. I'm very excited. It's first one, so I'd really love the support of you guys. I think I'll give an update the beginning of next month and then again during Christmas. I don't know what I'm doing. Maybe I'll follow along with what the girls are doing. I will link all the participants on my description below. There's a lot of them. So please support us. Give us some encouraging words. And if there's any tips and tricks you'd like to share with me, I would greatly appreciate it. Leave it in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. I read each and every, all of your comments. I try to come, comment, excuse me, I try to comment back as quickly as I can. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Sam loves new subscribers and so do I. And until next time, we love you and take care.